so scared of Ron Paul. Well, Ron Paul makes a lot of sense, and more people ought to listen to him. Okay. It's time we quit this. It's time. It's trillions of dollars we're spending on these wars. You've heard the war propaganda that is liable to lead us into the sixth war, and I worry about that position. Iran does not have an air force that can come here. They don't have. They can't even make enough gasoline for themselves. As the race for the Republican nomination heats up. There is one candidate who has been largely ignored by the mainstream media. Shame on us. He deserves more attention from us than he's getting. We're in absolute panic mode because they've looked at the numbers and they know Ron Paul is the real front runner in the 2012 election. We have a top tier. It is Mitt Romney, Rick Perry, and Michelle Bachman. We have a new top tier and it's Perry, Mitt Romney, and Bachman. There's now a top tier in this race, at least for now, of Romney, Perry, and Bob. I, mean, I think that's fair to say. Really fair to say? You're not forgetting, I don't know, anyone, say, an ideologically consistent 12-term congressman who came within less than 200 votes of winning the straw poll? Isn't anyone going to give that gentleman a little love? When Ron Paul ran for the Republican nomination in 2008, he talked about the economy imploding, the untenable nature of the national debt, the eventual destruction of our currency, and the limited role for government. In the four years since then, a lot of the things Ron Paul warned us about have happened. We're deeper in debt, a lot deeper. The dollar is worth quite a bit less. And the country is more divided maybe than at any time since the Civil War. Pretending Ron Paul doesn't exist for some reason has been going on for weeks. A new Gallup survey showing Rick Perry running second to Mitt Romney, knocking down Iowa favorite Michelle Bachman to fourth. Don't remember Ron Paul. It's only to reassure themselves how there's no need to remember Ron Paul. Right now, live, right next to the bus behind us, Ron Paul is speaking. And guess what, Paul? If you get video of Sarah Palin or get a sound bite from her, bring that back to us. You can hold the Ron Paul stuff. <laughs> if ever a presidential hopeful embodied the notion of personal freedom and fidelity to the Constitution, it would be Texas Republican Congressman Ron Paul. He's gotten more money from the military than all the other Republicans combined. And he's gotten more than Obama got. Think about that. You got and you made you you set the record. In the history of American politics, nobody has ever raised more money on a single day than you. Gosh.